Hello everyone, today let's learn how to calculate the mean deviation of ungrouped data about the mean value. Now in this example, here are the observations as you can see, this is ungrouped data. Now the formula for mean deviation is this. Now before we can use this formula, we need to find out all these values. Now first let's see what is n. n is nothing but the total number of observations. So let's count how many observations are there. Yes, there are 10 observations. So that means n is 10. Now, next in the formula, we have xi. Now, what is xi? Yes, xi are these observations. So, let's write them in this column. Now, whenever we write the data in column form, it's always easier to understand and we make less mistakes also. Just take care, friends, while copying the data. Write the digits one below the other. So, here we have all the xi values. Let's see again the formula. What do we need? We need x bar. Now, what is x bar? It is the mean of this data. It's nothing but sigma xi by n. Now, what is sigma? It's the Greek symbol for summation, friends. So, we need to add all these xi values and then divide by n. So, let's add them up. Now, that's why you had to write the digits one below the other so that you can easily add them up. Now, to save time, I've already added them up. It comes to be 880 okay so sigma xi is 880 now let's find out what is the mean so mean is nothing but 880 divided by n which is 10 that means the mean of this data is 88 now let's again see what do we need we need xi minus x bar so that tells us the next column we need is xi minus x bar but uh, just for my convenience friends, what I'll do is I'll create another column called x bar where I'll write the mean value everywhere. Now I'm doing this so that my subtraction becomes easier. So let's write the mean value everywhere, 88. Yes, now we are ready to do the subtraction. So 85 minus 88, that will give me minus 3. Now remember, we have to write the sign, don't ignore it. 96 minus 88, that will give me 8, this will give me minus 12, uh, 20, minus 3, minus 8, uh, 12 over here, minus 3, uh, minus 18 and 7. So this is my xi minus x bar, do it very carefully. Now again, let's see the formula, we need mod of xi minus x bar. Now what is this mod? Mod or the modulus is also known as the absolute value and it simply gives us the positive value of any number. So if I have minus 3, then modulus of minus 3 will give me plus 3. Now what if the number is already positive, then it will not change the sign at all. It will remain positive. That's it friends. Modulus is very easy. So let's uh, make the next column for this mod xi minus x bar. So mod of minus 3 will be plus 3. Mod of 8 will remain 8. So this way minus 12 will become 12. This will remain 20. Uh, this will become 3, 8, 12, 3, 18 and 7. Here also make sure you are writing the digits one below the other. Now let's see what do we need next. Yes, we need sigma of this mod of xi minus x bar. So let's add them up. Now when you add them up, you will get 94. I already did the addition. So we have uh, the numerator and the denominator. Let's go ahead and find the mean deviation. So mean deviation is uh, 94 divided by n which is 10. That means mean deviation for this ungrouped data comes out to be 9.4. So for your practice, calculate the mean deviation about mean for this given data and post your answers in the comment section below. 